Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I hope you are doing well. This video is for those researcher and student who want to draw a higher DPI figure. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw a flowchart or diagram and save the diagram in higher DPI. Here the DPI means dot per inches. The publication houses generally prefer at least 300 DPI images for publishing in reputed journal articles, conference proceedings and other publication. So to draw the diagram or figure in higher DPI, first you have to go to the google.com then you type diagram.io then search flowchart maker online diagram software you just click here app dot diagram dot net the link will redirect you to this website app dot diagram dot net then to create a new diagram just click this create new diagram and open the existing diagram which you have already created to open this, you can select this option. So we will create a new diagram. So from this, you can choose a blank diagram, class diagram, flowchart, org chart, and there are many diagrams. Here I am choosing blank diagram. Then click create. You can also download this app of diagram.net. It is also available in the internet. So you can use this app offline in your computer. Here you can see few general symbols are there, then these are few symbols, these are few advanced symbol, some basic diagrams. or shapes, some arrows, these are the flowchart diagram, these are the entity relationship diagram which are basically used for database management system, UML diagram, These are the symbols of IBM, these are IBM application symbols, these are the blockchain symbols, IBM data symbols, lots of symbols are there, these are the social symbol by IBM or there are few symbols you can see here for more symbols or more shapes you can add cisco cisco 19 cisco safe that you can see here these are the cisco symbol cisco 19 symbol okay 
you can choose as per your need so in this video i will create a simple flowchart so i am going to here the general diagram here i will draw a flowchart that will add two numbers and print that number as you can see this is the start symbol to get a shape in the workspace this space or you can just click here the symbol will appear on this you can select and drag the shape as per your need so i place this sh shape here the next these are the start to add some text inside this shape you can use double click then you can type start okay next i am clicking input symbol this is the first input say this is the read A. Okay. This is the second input. This is the second input. Input B, that is read B. Next, calculate the sum. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sum equal to A plus B. Okay, this box is a processing box. Then print the output. So print or display sum. and this is the stop symbol so you can write stop okay okay to make the arrow you can just place your cursor here and just click like this and like this like this just click and drag just click and drag okay you can also change the style of any shape to change the style you can go to the style menu and just select the appropriate style you can select this also okay you can also change the color from here and giving this color you can also change the outline or style of outline here i am changing the outline of this shape into dashes as you can see the outline is changes to dashes and you can also increase or decrease the outline or to increase the decrease outline you just click here 
as you can see 4 point 3 point 2 point okay so I'm giving some colors and this is a color okay this is some colors this is stop okay I'm also changing this line to a solid line okay you can also select all the shape together and apply any style all together that is I am changing the solid line outline to the dashes all the shapes okay and changing the shade into point 4 as you can see all the outlines are changes as per our requirement okay you can also select the shape and change the style of a font from here you just click here and select the also you can increase the size of a font as well bold italic underline you can apply any of the alignment left alignment center right you can also include border color okay just middle alignment so this is our diagram now i am going to do the most awaited or important that we can this particular diagram in any dpi or 300 dpi or 300 or higher dpi so for this you have to go to the file menu then export we are going to save a raster image you can also save the vector also svg pdf okay we are going to save in png format in the png format as you can see if you export it will be downloaded I am saving here as you can see give a name to save in higher dimension here you have to go to the advance then here you can see the dpi okay you can say 100 dpi 200 dpi 300 dpi and 400 dpi for the publication in 300 dpi you just choose and name flowchart to one and export It will be downloaded okay as you can see png format diagram one okay diagram one to save in any dpi or you just go to here and here choose the custom dpi and place the dpi i am giving the 600 dpi okay then export
as you can see diagram 2 save okay now i am going to this folder you can here if we click this is 300 dpi as you can see and this is 600 dpi okay super resolution so this is how we can save we can draw a diagram or image and save in higher dpi and that image we can use as a publication image thank you for watching this video please do subscribe my channel for this type of video thank you once again